I'm not here to speak for women. But what I am doing is standing shoulder to shoulder with women because this bill affects everyone. Well, I'm here because it's important to protect women's rights, all sex-based rights. More importantly for me, it's about uh, the fundamental issue of safeguarding generally. The welfare of children has been a central part of my entire professional life. In law, what we understand uh, as male and female uh, will cease to exist. That means that protected characteristics of sex becomes meaningless and it means that same-sex uh, relationships, that definition becomes meaningless uh, and it is a legal fiction that that is possible but that is the reality that we face. It means that men who are predators can self-ID as a woman and they have legal right of entry into same single sex spaces, whether it be dressing rooms, changing rooms, rape crisis centres, wherever. Ostensibly, if you turn down a sexual partner because uh, they, are, they have transitioned and your preference is same sex, that you can be accused of transphobia. It is being forced through by a First Minister who was elected on a commitment to deliver independence and she's used that ambition from people like myself and many, many others, that ambition for an independent country. She has misused that, that mandate, to deliver this policy, not independence. With independence, this would have had to have been debated openly, widely, at a proper citizens' assembly. Um, but it's because we are not independent that the First Minister has been able to use our cause for these purposes. Independence is the only solution.